guys, всем привет! Welcome to my channel. Today I'm gonna show you one of my favorite cheesecake creations. It's chocolate on orange and it's so good. You get the creamy chocolatey flavor, then the orange kind of hits you at the back and then you've got this beautiful orange jelly in the middle. It looks so great. We're gonna top it up with orange mirror glaze. It's perfect for Easter or any other occasion, but I just think this cake is so bright, so sunny, so happy and it's perfect for the spring. And yeah guys, I hope you subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to reach 100,000 subscribers and we're getting so close to my goal. I love you guys, now let's get started. First thing we're gonna do is make our jelly. Add your orange jelly with hot water in a jug. Mix it through until it melts completely. Then add it into a cake tin and place it in a freezer for 30 minutes. Crush your biscuits, I'm using Oreos and digestives until you get nice and crumb consistency. You can find my recipe on my website at alizyamifood.com In a bowl add your cream cheese with mascarpone cheese and icing sugar. Then add vanilla extract and mix everything together until it's nice and smooth. In a different bowl add your heavy or double cream and whisk it until it's nice and soft. Then add your cream cheese mixture and whisk everything again for a few minutes. Then add orange zest with orange essence and mix everything together. Separate the mixture into two different bowls equally. Into one bowl I'm going to add some orange zest and orange food colouring and mix it through. In a second bowl add your dark chocolate and some cocoa powder and mix everything again. We're going to add our orange cheesecake layer first. Then spread it around and we're going to place this into the freezer for about one hour. Once the jelly is set, we're going to take a large cookie cutter and cut right inside. And what you can also do, cut a little bit in the middle, which I didn't do. <laughs> or you can also just squeeze it up and place over the cake mold and then cut off the excess bits. Then add your chocolate cheesecake on top and just move it about. Make sure it's nice and even, smooth it over. Once it's done, we're going to add our crushed biscuits on top and then we're going to place this into the freezer overnight or at least six to eight hours. The first thing you want to do is get your gelatin ready. So I'm using one sachet or 12 grams, then add cold water and leave it to set. Take a jug where you will be making your glaze and add your white chocolate in there. Then add condensed milk. In a small saucepan add your sugar, water, glucose syrup and cook until it just starts to boil. Our gelatin has set, so we're just going to add this into our hot glucose mixture and mix that in. Once your gelatin has dissolved, we're going to add it into our chocolate and condensed milk mixture and leave it for a few minutes. To get the desired color, just add your food coloring of your choice and mix everything together. And then strain the mirror glaze through a sieve a couple of times there are no bubbles. Carefully take off the mold from the cake and then peel off your acetone paper. Now the cake is pretty frozen so use a hair dryer to loosen up the top of the cake and then gently place it onto your cooling rack with some baking dish. I'm doing a double glaze so just go over the cake twice to get the desired color. Once it's done, leave it in the fridge for at least half an hour. 
Use your imagination and decorate the cake the way you like it. I'm adding some beautiful sugar flowers and you can also add some melted chocolate and drizzle around the cake if you like or you can just have it plain. Now let's cut inside the cake. It has been left in a room temperature and you can see the beautiful chocolate and orange cheesecake in the middle with our orange jelly inside and cookie base at the bottom. This cake is so good guys. I hope you make this and enjoy. Make sure to check out all my other videos.